Hey, good morning, folks. It's Ani with Chica's Kitchen. And uh, this morning, it's about, oh, one in the morning. I went to bed very early last night. I was so exhausted. <clears throat> anyway, uh, this morning, I'm going to go ahead and make these uh, danishes that I've been craving so much. And I'm going to make them for breakfast. Hubster has to be at work at 5, so he'll be up in about an hour. So I figured I'd get these um, done and out the way and waiting for him when he gets up. So he got that with his coffee. All right. So here we go. I've got the oven preheating to 400 degrees. As you can see, I've taken the dough out of the refrigerator. It is nice and cold. I'm going to roll it out. Let me show you what I have here. I have the, uh, oh, I guess it's like a streusel nut, nutty thing that I used for when I made uh, baklava. And uh, I've got some strawberry jam uh, with some nice fresh strawberries in there. I've got some orange marmalade. Well, the label's around here somewhere. <laughs> Too early in the morning for me. Oh, where's my tea? I haven't had my coffee yet. I'll wait till my danishes are done, and then I'll have a cup of coffee right now. I'm just having some tea. Uh, I have an egg wash in the fridge and something else uh, that I prepared last night. Oh, excuse me. Let me get that. Oh, the orange marmalade syrup for glaze to make the danish shine. Um, here's my egg wash. I've got that. And I'm going to make the cream cheese filling. Um, this is Unfortunately, today is grocery pickup day, but unfortunately, this is all I have left of sour cream. So I'm going to use that to uh, spoon in about three, three or four. Well, it should be about four of them, depending on, on how many I want. I wanted to do a strawberry cream cheese and a marmalade cream cheese and then with some nuts. I was thinking about making some bear claws. That would be nice, huh? So anyway... So I'm going to put this in a bowl with some sugar and some cream cheese and make my cream cheese filling real quick. I do have my tray to put the uh, danishes on already lined with parchment paper. Open this. It's so quiet. <laughs> I love this time of morning to get in the kitchen and start baking, get lost in thought. It's so quiet and still. Like this is me time right here. Oven. 
I'm telling you, it is heated up to 400. bit of sour cream in there, about a spoonful, just to help cream it out is all. It's a little cold, we got to work with it a little bit, let me get the sugar that may help break it down. my tea every once in a while. <laughs> okay. About a tablespoon of sugar should do it. Don't use powdered sugar, okay? It it burns on um, Kind of melts everything around it too. It'll just run right through. It'll melt to a point where it'll run right through your your Danish. Use real sugar when you're making your cream filling. Some people like to put some egg whites or egg yolks in there. Cream filling. Nothing wrong with it. It's good too. I do that sometimes. But this time I want a nice white Chantilly looking cream. Alright, this is about getting soft now. So it's Get a stir and then make sure that's whipped up real nice and the sugar is even and the cream cheese is all incorporated in there together. You don't want lumps of just sugar or sour cream without any sweet to it. Okay, that seems pretty good to me. I use a fork, it breaks it right down. You can use a whisk, I guess, but with a fork, you have more strength of the metal to push down more. Alright, give it a taste. It needs more sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more. Um, actually, instead of reaching for that big canister, I have to. And that was just about a quarter of a, a bar, if not a, a third, I don't know, just a little bit over, of cream cheese. Yeah, this will 
give me enough for about four. And then the rest will just be orange marmalade and strawberry. Depends on how much that really yields. It should yield enough. I am going to make some bear claws, though. I like cinnamon. Get cinnamon sugar out. I'm using cinnamon sugar. Don't need you. Well, I may need you. Depends. All right. So, huh? How am I going to do this? Okay, you guys got to take a step back for me. I need to dry. Counts condensation for my wet hands. Get the dough out. Begin from the middle, pushing out. It's still very cold, but as it warms up, it'll start to relax with all that butter it has in there. Okay, we also want to maintain our shape as much as possible.
boys over here, Indiana. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm going to make some bear claws, as I said, for us this morning. This is just the perfect amount for lobster and I. Here we have our pastry dough. Okay. So, uh, I could do bear claws, the little ones. I think I will. Do a couple of strips. Bear cloth. Bear cloth. 
heart. Okay, kind of stretch it out a little bit. Twist it, then we just roll it in. And then just tuck it. And there's your first bear claw. We'll put this on the tray because it does have to prove this has yeast in it, remember. You know, make these any size you want. I think for breakfast, uh, it's uh, nice to do little dainty danishes. But um, you can make these as big as or as small as you want. I like the dainty danishes because you eat a whole lot of it without looking like a pig. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh. Secrets. Okay. And then just tuck that in. There's two. And this. For the bear claw. Alright. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put some cinnamon down the center. Cinnamon sugar, that is. And I put the whole thing. And I'm going to down the middle oh, I was just enough how about that? Just gonna spread it out. It was just enough. Alright, 
So we got that going on. Now I need to brush the end, the other half of the water. it over. You gotta work fast with this dough so that this box melting that butter and this stick. Bam. You have to work very fast with it. Work some flour. I'll be right back. I'll take a sip of tea. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so here's my egg wash. Get a brush. This is done. This is done. 
doing that. I'm hoping these aren't too sticky. You know that they'll kind of couple them up a little bit. There we go. Okay. So here are our bear claws. going to do, oh this one is not going to cooperate, okay, what we're going to do is brush them with some egg wash, Almost got a broken toe. <laughs> and dip it thing out. See? And then put our finger in and open them claws up. Okay. There's a bad claw. in the middle, squeeze together, open those claws up. Let me grab a few. Two more. Open up the bear claws. Down, down, so little. This one had any egg wash on it. Okay. There we go. And put it in the middle and open the toes. And there we go. Ah, oh, I wash my hands. Do an egg wash on these. Okay.
push down in the center. Do one marmalade. So now I'm going to cover these with plastic. And let them rise. And I'll bring you back. Alright guys. 30 minutes are up. I turned the timer off. Oven is nice and warm for 400. And got to put some water. David, can you put this water in there? The bottom dish. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Steam it okay, so now we're ready to. They've risen some. As you can see, it's come up over the filling, and that's what we're looking for. And this oven is very hot. So I'm gonna put my little on. might be too close together, but that's okay. See my little bear claws in there? Little dainty dainty. All right, it's gonna be 12 to 15 minutes. I'll put it for 12 minutes, and I shall bring you back. Okay, we've got about two more minutes left. Um, I went ahead and made a little icing to drizzle over the danishes. And simply just a um, teaspoon of milk, uh, two tablespoons of powdered sugar, and about a tablespoon of uh, cream cheese Cool Whip. Or uh, oh, whipping cream, I should say, that I had already made. So, now you just want to drizzle that. Use a fork and you kind of just drizzle it over. So, I've got that going. We've got about a minute left. Let me get my coffee. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Oh my goodness. Coffee is so good. Alright, bring you back. We got about a minute ago. Okay. Time on off. Take these puppies out. Oh, they did very, very well. Very, very well. Look at that. None of them leaked out. I mean, a little bit of the top that's of the gel a, went over, but that's so fine. Uh, like the strawberry. All the cream it. cheese filling stayed yeah, intact. That's one of the reasons you know, why we wouldn't use powdered sugar. If we used powdered sugar, it would have ran right out. 
Okay. So we're going to let that cool down just a little bit. Uh, before we put the glaze on. The orange glaze. I've got orange marmalade with some water here mix, mixture. And it's got pieces of orange peel. So that's going to be delicious over this. And then I'll drizzle some of the icing. And we shall have some delicious. I can't wait. Just a few minutes to cool off. Oh. It's going to be great. It is the I'll be back. Okay, here we go. Whoops. I hate that leg. It's so long. Let's go ahead and straighten you guys up again. I would much rather this word trust would have been translated hope because actually that's what the Greek word is in the manuscripts. Okay. Here we go. Because they're hope. Is in him. First thing we're going to do to the Gentiles is coat these. This gives it a nice shine. To his uh, nice little glaze. That was his, uh, his being with Look us. that bear claw. <laughs> Big toe. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. How fortunate man is that God our Father loves us so. That he gives us every opportunity when he can speak and a mountain can split. And this has and orange blossom extract along with the image, marmalade. Well, that is to say, God so, with us that was so gentle. The nuts that do that in. is. Uh, so this is going to be delicious. Would not even break a broken reed. Got any small glaze on this. Dampen the light, trimming the wick that it would grow brighter. When you listen to him, you are brighter. Okay. The light from your eye mirrors Little the pieces soul, of the orange peel on Lord. it. Mm -hmm. Verse 22. Mm -hmm. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil. Wine you can just do a liquid orange glaze. I chose to you, use the marmalade because of so the chunks of uh, all of the many slices of oranges. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, these and not for the round ones. Usually are symbolic of what he is teaching my little spiral. today in a spiritual sense. It will allow you to have be his truth, the gentleness of it. My favorite at the same time, uh, give you a Danish is the cream cheese. I've always. Seeds, you now, if voice. you don't get out. Uh, ninety minute wonder your uh, Danish dough the way I did real thin. I know it's a little troublesome sometimes when it starts melting faster than you can work it. But I'm telling you, if you don't thin it out, you're gonna get a, a, a chewy, cakey, gooey kind of breading instead of that crisp fluffiness paste you know, pastry that you're looking for. Sixteen uh, sixteen sixty and somewhere along in there, because really, what they're asking, and let me just let me just translate it all the way in modern English. Is it possible this could be the Messiah? That's what they're asking. That's what the son of David was. It was promised uh, in Isaiah 53 that out of the stem of Jesse would come forth the root that would be Messiah. And when, when they observed, I'm not very good at designing, the but of all you got the gist. And when they observed this one possessed with the devil, that he had the power and the authority, and the right. gentleness of his straightforwardness. So um, it's got the face on there. We are done. All I've got to do now is plate it. Question. All right. Verse 24. And when the Pharisees heard this out the way. Bear in mind, don't forget what they're plotting back from verse 14 to kill him. The murder is. The Pharisees heard it. They said, This fella doth not cast out devils. But I. The prince of the devil. So he's a devil himself. And we're just going to print these. Means, uh, 
king of the fly or king of the dunghill is uh, about as low as you could get. But that's, that's the way he's performing his miracles. Now listen to the teachings of Christ. 25. And Jesus knew their thoughts. You know what they were thinking? They're throwing with a broken toe. <laughs> every kingdom. Now, now first I'll you know what a kingdom is. It's a king with a dominion. They got fat toes. So every king with his dominion. They got big claws. And it's baby. divided against itself is brought to desolation. It can't stand. And every, every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. This is one reason why you, as a follower uh, of Christ, must study. accept his word as his word. I said, as his word. That's to say, our Father. And let no division come among you. Let this word... This and there you have it, folks. Authority. There are and my bear claws. When you allow this word to be your authority, and his bottles, my Danishes, what I work so hard for. <laughs> the next ones I think I'm going to make bigger, um, just to show you are not divided the difference. But that's it. That's the gooey goodness. Oh. There is a oneness in the. Alright, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. Um, I told you I was going to make some Danish, uh, cheese Danishes. And here you have it in the shape of bear claws and two spirals. One strawberry fill, one marmalade fill, and the rest cream cheese and cinnamon. Alright, with nut toppings. So. You all have a good one. Have a blessed day. It's Friday. Uh, be happy. Love for yourselves and one another. Take care of yourself. God bless you. Bye.